Are you looking for a comfortable, capable SUV with a muscle car style? We'll look no further. Introducing the 2022 Dodge Durango GT. Quickly, quickly, you know the drill. Have you subscribed? You have to subscribe. If you don't subscribe, you're not going to see great content. You're not going to have the chance to win a $250 gas card. So what are you doing? Make sure that button says subscribe. Now let's get back to the video. Now, we've talked about some of the higher trims of Durangos in the other videos that I've done, but I have yet to touch on the mid-level uh, Durango GT that we see here. Now, while the GT comes equipped with the reliable V6 under the hood with enough power to get you where you need to go, it's obviously not performance-driven as it leaves the V8 at the door. But the GT isn't about racing. It's about looking super sexy and super cool while prioritizing comfort, convenience, and technology. And with a few of the optional groups available, your GT can transform into the ultimate daily driver. So here's Here's what we're going to go over today. We'll go over some of the key standard Durango GT equipment and talk about some of the functional groups added on that enhance your tech and capabilities. Next, I'll give you a look at the interior options in terms of seating and comfort for your rear passengers. And finally, I'll highlight the absolute best optional equipment group you should have on your GT to really amplify your ownership. So let's get to it. Now, as I mentioned at the start of the video, there is only one engine option when it comes to the Durango GT for the 2022, and that would be your 3.6 liter V6 engine, which actually comes with stop and start technology to help you a little bit with fuel saving as well. The GT also comes with an all wheel drive standard, and while it's no V8 Hemi, the GT V6 pairs with an eight speed automatic transmission that boasts 295 horsepower and 260 pound feet of torque. So as you can see, this particular GT is dressed up in the octane red pearl and has a black interior with leather face seats with perforated suede inserts. So while the power isn't at full 100%, the look of the Durango still shows off an aggressive muscle car appearance, and tagging on an option like the performance hood can pay an even bigger homage to its roots. However, the GT is all about that comfort, convenience, and tech, and it doesn't skimp out on the standard options, including a remote start system with heated wheel and seats for your front and your second row passengers, park view rear backup camera with ParkSense rear park assist system, blind spot monitoring with rear cross path detection, and keyless enter and go with a push button start. And while the standard driver assistance features are fantastic, if you want to go a little bit farther, adding on the technology group will give you the following. Lane departure warning with lane keep assist, forward collision warning with active braking, advanced brake assist, and adaptive cruise control with stop and go. And if you are unsure if you can tow with this bad boy, don't you worry, because the V6 GT can tow up to 6,200 pounds when properly equipped with the trailer tow group, which comes with a class four hitch, four and seven pin wiring harness, a trailer brake controller, heavy duty engine cooling, and rear load leveling suspension. Now we talked about the front seats, but I wanna take a second to talk about the second row seats, because I wanna show you why this SUV is the leading SUV for either a daily driver and for family oriented activities. So, this being said, it comes with a bench seat standard, but if you choose not to have the bench seat standard, you can tag on these second row uh, fold and tumble captain's chairs, which actually fold right into the floor, which means it gives you more cargo space, more storage, and you have that flexible seating. And if you aren't prepping to go back and forth to the third row as often, include the second row console with armrest and storage, which gives you extra storage with a 12 volt auxiliary outlet and USB charging port. And finally, I wanna highlight the best group that you can add on to your GT to really amp up your driving experience for your daily driver. The GT Premium Group gives you a little more ease of use with items like automatic high beam headlamp control and LED auxiliary low beams with turn signals for visibility. And for some added help with your cargo management, enjoy integrated black roof rail crossbar and a cargo area cover in the rear. But what about the tech? While well, you get to enjoy an 8.4 inch touchscreen with Uconnect as the standard, the GT Premium Group will upgrade your screen to a 10.1 inch with Uconnect 5 with navigation, Sirius XM suite, and even a wireless charging pad available right underneath. Not to mention, the two most popular upgrades are nestled into the Premium Group with nine Alpine speaker sound system and even a power sunroof. Well, there you have it. That's been your look at the 2022 Dodge Durango GT. I wanna know what you think. We've made it through so so many of these trims and we have so many more to go 2023 is coming down the line we have tons more models to go over so i want to know what you think about the gt would you buy it wouldn't you buy it what do you want to see next and remember nobody beats